Security Level 4, Item Number, SCP-4049, Object Class, Keter, Special Containment Procedures, Dimensional Containment Area 23 is to be guarded by Applied Task Force, IOTA-9, Dimension Dogs. The 15-meter corridor that leads to the entrance of SCP-4049 is to be sealed with an airlock separating it from the rest of the facility. In addition, the corridor is to be outfitted with motion detectors connected to a series of deterrents staggered along the hallway, including 1. LIAD-2000 sound cannon 2. M2 Browning machine guns Air conditioning system capable of venting serene gas into the corridor. Following a confirmed SCP-4049-A event, experiments involving SCP-4049 are to be immediately suspended, and ATF IO-9 is to be put on high alert until an SCP-4049-B event is confirmed. If an SCP 4049B event does not occur within two months of an SCP-4049A event. A D-Class personnel will be utilized to attempt to manually initiate an SCP-4049B event. In the instance of an ongoing SCP-4049B event, all determinants are to be utilized on the active SCP-4049-1 instance. Foundation monetary assets will be put toward the use of lobbying for pro-animal rights and anti-hunting legislation within the states of Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming, as well as weighing the public opinion against hunting for sport. Foundation assets embedded in hospitals and police departments will be Put any instances of spontaneous combustion to check for possible SCP 4049A events. Foundation agents are to follow up on these in an attempt to confirm the occurrence. Any further interactions with SCP 4049-2 are to be logged and reported to SCP 4049 Research Head Tash. Description SCP-4049 is a destination for an extra-dimensional space, the entrance to which is located behind a steel door in the basement of Beep, a former arms factory in Wyoming, USA. GPS systems entering the anomaly invariably fail, and accessing SCP-4049's vicinity by means other than a steel door have proven ineffective, leading to bare ground. SCP-4049 appears as a circular room with a floor consisting of soil, with the walls and a ceiling constructed of a smooth white marble. All attempts to acquire a sample of these materials have resulted in failure due to the sample spontaneously combusting when passing through the dimensional threshold. The room is 20, update 23 meters across, and contains a series of two, update, three, concentric circles of graves, twelve, update, thirteen of which have small white marble tombstones, with a circular two-meter-wide empty area at the center. Each tombstone has Keon engraved into it, which linguistics have confirmed to be hound in a dialect of Greek. SCP-4049-A is a phenomenon that appears to occur exclusively to male individuals that reside in the state of Wyoming, Idaho, or Montana, and have a notable interest in hunting for sport. While in some form of religious worship, the individual will spontaneously combust and vanish, leaving behind all clothes and objects previously on the person as well as a stone-tipped arrow driven into the ground near the previous location. Analysis has revealed the arrow to be non-anomalous and are stored in a storage locker within Dimensional Containment Area 23. At the end of an SCP-4049-A event, a new tombstone 
stone instantaneously appears over a previously unmarked grave within SCP-4049. SCP-4049-1 is the collective designation for any entity originating from inside SCP-4049 during an SCP-4049-B event. SCP-4049-1 instances vary to some degree in their dimensions and weight, but all have the following trait in common. Quadrupedal posture, extreme hostility toward human and animal life, abnormally thick skin, a natural tendency to avoid their own reflection, muscled legs used to jump forward at high velocity, disproportionately long arms with four clawed paws, screeching vocalizations, a face identical to the most recent victim of SCP-4049-A, internal anatomy not be resembling a human's but with several differences, such as a reinforced spine, two hearts, no reproductive system whatsoever, an additional row of teeth, and an enlarged mouth to house them. Within 60 days of an SCP-4049-A event, an SCP-4049-B event has a 98% chance to occur. An SCP-4049-B event has to date never naturally occurred with in 30 days of an SCP-4049-A event. An SCP-4049-B event consists of an SCP-4049-1 instance clawing its way out of the dirt circle in the center of SCP-4049 and attempting to breach the steel door. Its intention and destination are unknown. If an SCP-4049 B event to start occur within 60 days following an SCP 4049A event, it will eventually occur anywhere from 20 to 50 days following the initial 60. Update at any point following the initial 60 days, with an average 10% increase in the size of the SCP 4049 1 instance for every subsequent week. An SCP-4049-B event can also be triggered by placing a living human subject on the dirt circle to draw out the SCP-4049-1 instance immediately following an SCP-4049-A event. SCP-4049-2 is an incorporeal entity that is capable of orally communicating. It has demonstrated the ability to manipulate electronic devices to its will. SCP-4049-2 has currently only been encountered during Incident I-372. Recovered Document 4049-1 Group of Beers Devastate Local Summer Home by Glenn Wilson Gardenfield Police was summoned to the vacation home of local socialite Richard Sampson after a frantic call from his groundskeeper. Upon arrival, they were greeted with what appeared to be the aftermath of a particularly violent and brief tornado. The entire front section of the ground floor had been shredded, the gardens trampled, and the interior utterly destroyed. Colorado State Patrolmen, note, undercover foundation personnel, were on the scene within half an hour and attributed the damage to a group of three to four grizzly bears, at least one of which is likely to be rapid. Animal Control has released a statement advising residents of Gartnerville and surrounding areas to remain out of the wilderness until the issue is resolved. A team has been contracted to track and euthanize the animals. The above story was printed on July 14th, Beep, in the Lubbock County Update, a local Wyoming newsletter. Foundation agent released a cover story to the public, attributing the incident to wild bears. An MTF Epsilon 6 village idiots were dispatched to track and terminate the as of then unknown SCP-4049-1 instance within four hours, 
the instance had been terminated and its path tracked. A temporary containment facility at the site of SCP-4049 was set up within the hour. Incident I-372 On September 17th, Beep, a Foundation agent embedded within the Wyoming State Patrol reported an SCP-4049-A event after finding a vehicle in flames with an elk carcass tied to it. And a stone tip arrow nearby, Dimensional Containment Area 23 and ATF IOTA 9 were put on high alert and began preparing for an imminent SCP-4049-B event. By December 3rd beep, an SCP-4049-B event had not occurred, and the decision was made by the Regional Director to manually initiate an event to prevent the SCP-4049 one instance from growing too large to contain. A D-Class personnel was sent into SCP-4049 to manually initiate said event. An audio transcript is attached. Incident Log Transcript Date December 4th Beep Exploration Subject D-09235 Equipment One audio link to command One camera streaming to command Subject SCP-4049 Begin log. Enter through the door, please. All right, I'm heading in. D09235 opens the door and walks in. What do you see? Just what you said would be here. White walls, dirt, gravestones. Move toward the center of the room. Fine. D09235 moves toward the dirt circle. He takes two steps before stopping. What the hell? What is it? I just heard a dog bark. What the frick? Where did that come from? Neither the audio link nor camera register any noise. Keep moving. Tell us if you hear anything else. Uh, okay. D09235 walks the short distance to the center and stops. Now we... I feel like there's someone here. No one is visible to the camera. They don't see anything. Are you sure? I don't know. I can just feel the... A stream of interference cuts out D09235's camera and audio link. An unknown disembodied female voice, later classified as SCP-404092, begins speaking directly to command through the audio link. You have been ruining my pets for too long. Do you know how long I was using this particular pet before you came along? Identify yourself immediately or we will take aggressive action. You intrude upon my ground and have the audacity to threaten me. Human arrogance truly knows no bounds. All communications with D09235 cut out. No response is received from SCP-4049-2. Attempts to re-establish contact with D09235 fail. End log. Seven seconds following this exchange, the largest SCP-4049-1 instance to date, at 11.2 meters tall, exited SCP-4049 and initiated an SCP-4049-B event. Only a simultaneous combination of all determined and sustained small arms fire from ATF IOTA-9 was able to terminate the SCP-4049-1 instance. No further communications were received from the unknown entity, and personnel found no evidence of any unauthorized personnel in SCP-4049, nor any remains of D09235.